We've got an excellent tide this morning. I think if all the stars align here with this tide, there should be some huge weak fish around. I'm here pretty early this morning. I got a bunch of pink and purple lures tied on. And I'm just focused on weak fish. It's probably gonna be some bass. We've got some 58 and a half Fahrenheit water temperature, ideal water temperature. I think there's gonna be some big weak fish this morning and hopefully the tide sinks up correctly, which I think it will. I'm already seeing some striped bass busting over here. So there's probably gonna be some bass this morning, but I think this is gonna be a good video. So stay tuned and let's get into fishing. Working this Penn Slammer 4500 this morning. I've got the 50 pound Power Pro Braid, 30 pound leader three-quarter ounce jig head with a five and a half inch purple shad it's gonna be a good one this morning I can feel it oh there we go that's bass right there right there I think I might be better off doing the reverse of what I'm doing but I'll still hit this Try and back off of them. I think I might be better off going on that side and casting at them, to be honest. We'll see. Anything's possible if you believe in magic. Getting really shallow here. I gotta be careful. This is like two feet. I can see the bottom. Oh, there was a nice bite. Oh, there was a nice bite. These must be small fish. miss both those wow t three feet of water incredible so I think I'm better off actually going on the other side and casting at them they'll probably still hit this but fish on I think if I go on that side and cast the other direction I'll probably do better this feels pretty nice Feels like a bass. Whoa, brother. They're here. I think they just got out of here. This feels like a striper. Yep, it's a striper. Caught up in my Ronzi. I'm just gonna leave this up. Pretty nice striper. All right, so this was kind of the pattern the other day. The striper started feeding, then the weak fish showed up a little while later. So we're still in the zone here. Look at that crazy sun. It's not awesome. This guy's kind of beat up. All right, so the striper are right over here. I think they just showed up. I think I'm going to do better if I cast the other direction at them. They're sitting really shallow, like two feet right now, right on this rip. Just pushing bait, grabbing bait, being striper. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. These are all pretty nice schoolies. I mean, this, this is a nice fish. Really pulling some, some power. Nice fish. These are pretty quality. I think he just splashed the camera. Well, these are pretty nice. Later, buddy. All right, these fish are super shallow, I guess. I think the pattern is gonna be as soon as these bass roll out, in about a half an hour, the weak fish should show up. That was the pattern the other day. So we'll see, but happy to catch. These are nice bass, so happy to catch them in shallow water. It's fun. 
Yeah, bass are interesting. Every day is a little, little different scenario with them. Very mixed sizes this year too. It seems like we've been getting different waves of these fish. And uh, I don't know. It's fun. It's fun seeing how they sort of change every day. These are these are fun schoolies. Like these are the uh, getting towards slot size schoolies. Dang, I hung up immediately. Must just be really shallow. These fish are hunting really, really shallow, I guess. GoPro's being pretty good today. Seems like it's uh, finicky just like the fish. There's a bass right there. There's a bass right there. Need to unhook this so I can catch these bass. There's a bass right in front of me. Let me get this snag out. It's the nice thing about kayaks is you can just go the opposite direction and get your snag out. Probably get these on top water, but it might be a little more tricky. Whoa, that was awesome. That was awesome. He hit right next to the kayak. Wow, that was sick. He pop off? Yeah, he popped off. I didn't get a good hook set on him. Well, that was pretty sick. They're in such shallow water. This is cool. Gotta be careful with my mirage drive. I, mean, I can see the bottom right now. They're in like two feet. Damn, that was sick. See, I can see them coming up and hitting the lure. Wow. I just watched him roll up and grab that. It's a small one, but it's still fun. It's cool to see them come up and grab the lure. Quick release, excellent. Right over here, sitting on this point. As the water drops down, they're gonna start to push out a little bit deeper and work the point. Yeah, see one splashed right there. They start to run out of water after a little while, then they just start working more of like this edge. Really fun. Oh, there's a bunch over there. They're working up current. A lot of people think the striper work down current. They're usually up current. At least that's how I catch them. They're usually up current or right in front of the rip or just behind it, but never far back. They never go over there. They always wait for the bait to get disturbed. They're smart. A lot of people think they're far back in the rip. They're always right in front of it or just on the inside of it. So if you can get your lure to swing into it, that's the ideal presentation, that 10 to two, two to 10, because that's gonna look like a wounded bait fish to them. Oh, that was a nice hit. This shallow water stuff's mad fun. This is like a boulder field that I'm on right now. Got a little bit too heavy of a setup to be honest with you, but you never know, I mean, lock into a big one here. Anything's possible if you believe in magic.
think maybe this is a striper. I don't know. I just hooked into something weird. This could be a weak fish. Or just a small striper. I'm not. Is this a weak fish? Or a striper? I think it's a striper. Yeah, it's a striper. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, see, even even a small guy. I mean, those those holes heal really fast, but I think my drag might even be too tight, even for a fish like that. Because these weak fish, they they have such thin mouths that this slammer I feel like in this rod is too heavy for them so I think I'm going to switch up to my other setup put the bucktail down for a moment and uh, switch to the tried and true the bubblegum zoom fluke I know they'll hit that they love the bubblegum zoom fluke Try that. They might want more of a finesse presentation. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about fishing. There's so many variables. They could not be feeding. I don't know. They're definitely here. I'm marking them. But there's just so many variables, you know. got hit again but it could be another fish another diff different type of fish you know a lot of different fish out here tempted to switch up to the metal wonder if they're gonna want the metal jig instead instead of the jig head you know that could be possible. Could also go back to bass fishing. There we go, fish on. This feels like one. This feels like a weak fish. This feels like a weak fish. Slow and steady wins the race. This is definitely a weak fish. I've got the right rod today. go there he is patience that was key patience was key it's a striper damn it very nice striper easy release later buddy all right well we are reaching our next destination see there's tons of bunker everywhere bunker all over the place but nothing's really on it, so usually that means nothing's really on it. I tried trolling my way over here. But I think what I'm gonna do is start up, the current's pushing this direction. I'm gonna start up over here and bounce the bottom, and then in about an hour, I think the tide's gonna start pushing incoming. It's gonna go the other direction. And that might be our opportunity to try and catch these weak fish. Uh, they've been on the incoming tide outgoing on that other location but incoming at this spot so i think i'm just gonna work like the 25 30 foot area over here maybe push my way in but maybe just go for porgy honestly 
been having a lot of fun with these jumbo borgies over here and they're only around for so long so yeah i don't know i'm gonna bounce the bottom i might might throw on the metal jig um, instead of working these bigger profiles and just work like some smaller profiles yeah so there's tons of bunker pretty much everywhere there's a boat working some uh really big school of bunker back there but i don't see anything on it um so i think the now that the sun's up a little bit higher i think that the game fish are sort of they pushed off you know it's tends to be the trend of what the striper do this time of year but yeah we'll start bouncing the bottom i might throw some gulp on we'll see just kind of play it by ear probably got another two hours to fish so and gopro's working gopro's being cooperative today i'm gonna take off this zoom fluke three eighth ounce is a little too heavy for this current see i've got all kinds of stuff over here i've got all kinds of stuff over here in these streets let's hop into our magic box here see what we can do actually instead of i think the pink jig's really going to be the move but i think i'm going to try this uh hoagie epoxy jig this is just a silver one as it looks a little newer than the pink jig. The pink jig that I've been using is this one right here. I use a lot of hoagie stuff. I really like hoagie. I've been using this pink jig, so maybe I'll maybe I'll put that off to the side over here in case this uh, chrome one is not working. But I think the chrome one should work. I've been liking using the pink one lately because just in case we catch some weak fish, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't have any more sandworms, so I think I'm going to tip this with, uh, just cut up some gulp. I think that should work as a little trailer. But I use the improved clinch knot. That's my go-to knot. You know, six, seven, wrap, six, seven wraps, maybe eight. I don't know. Not too picky. I think the improved clinch is the next one down from the palomer. I use the palomer knot too for braid. You could use it for fluorocarbon. But I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this gulp. I'm going to take this gulp here. I really want to use the sandworm, but I don't have any more sandworms. So I think I'm just going to cut the gulp up into little pieces, little strips. Maybe cut this guy in half. And this should work pretty well for the porgy. Maybe start off with a big piece. Just in case I get into uh, some fluke over here. Anything's possible over here at this spot. But I like using these little gulp trailers. So I'm going to do something like that to start off with. Should work. Should work over here in these streets. To be honest with you, I think my gulp trailer is a little too long. I could probably shorten it up. Probably going to get a lot of short strikes. What is that in the water? Is that a bird feather? That's a bird feather. Did a bird get eaten? To be honest with you, I'm liking the sink rate of the, the heavy minnow better. They've got something underneath us right now. These look like weak fish. Oh, fish on. This feels pretty good, whatever this is. These might be the weak fish. I don't know what this is, but it feels pretty good. 
It hit my rig. Could be a blue. It's acting very erratic. Probably a bluefish. I don't want to put too much heat on. I've got such a small hook. Oh, it's a big weak fish. Oh my gosh, it just spit up a bunch of squid. Dude, it's a huge weak fish. Oh, I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh, we did it! We did it! Oh my gosh! We did it! Dude! Oh my gosh! Holy smokes! It's another huge weak fish on the epoxy jig rig. I can't believe it worked. Dude, it worked! This guy's too big to keep, but... I do want to try and keep one. Dude, the epoxy jig worked. Look at how big this fish is. Can't believe it hit it. That's crazy. Look at how big this weak fish is. All right, that's the rig. I'm gonna measure him. Stick to the plan, and the plan worked. Oh my gosh, this this is a huge one. I thought I saw him. Dude, look at this fish. This is huge. This might be bigger than the other one that I got the other day. Oh, gotta be careful with them. These are sensitive fish. Dude, look at that weak fish. What a beast. Just gonna lay him on here carefully. 27. 27 inches. Stick to the plan. I can't believe it worked. All right. It's so sick, man. These things eat small jigs. That's what I've noticed about the weak fish. What a beauty, man. There he goes. Nice, safe release. Gotta make sure you wet the boards. I can't believe that rig worked. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so glad we made the move. Oh, man, I'm so excited right now. You have no idea. Yes! Yes! We stuck to the plan. Yeah! That's so sick. And the camera's being cooperative today. This is great. Yes! Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe we did it. Yes! The rig worked! The epoxy jig rig worked! I love it! Yes! Got all purple and pink today. Got the Ronzi, the Elias V, we got the bucktail with the pink on it. And the top water just in case something happens. Got my, my treble hook rig. There's a lot of bunker around and I got a bunch of other pink stuff. The Zoom Fluke is really good for the weak fish. But yeah, all purple and pink today. I'm psyched we got that weak fish. Put the plan together, it's excellent. Um, I'm telling you what, those, 
the epoxy jig or the heavy minnow rig it really just catches everything i mean i've caught the tog the fluke i mean this this these little heavy minnows that i feel like when the fish are on small bait they just outperform like i don't know i just feel like they catch everything i've caught huge blues on them before striper it's like everything hits the epoxy jig or the heavy minnow so yeah well we had our conversation i've been keeping the gulp in the gulp jar keep the gulp in the gulp jar so it recharges i'm liking this little rig i'm getting a lot of hits on it um it kind of looks like a diamond jig honestly with a teaser but it's got the scent of the gulp i feel like flounder would go crazy for this rig there's ha hasn't really been that much around the water keeps like lowering it's weird it's like mid-june there we go fish on i think this is a flounder no this is a porgy whatever it is it's pretty good i think it's a porgy hope it's a porgy yeah big porgy that's what we're looking for though these big oh why why oh, i'm just gonna touch it with my hands whatever oh he just crapped all over me Oh, I still got my gulp. That's good. I knew it was going to work for the porgy, though. And it worked for the porgy, though. And I will be keeping said porgy. I'm a huge fan of porgies. I usually only keep like 10 a day, max. The limit is 30. So I throw them in my bag and then I take my little clamper and do that and let them finish bleeding out and then catch more. There's definitely still weak fish around. I've, I've been marking them. There we go. I think that's a weak fish. Yep. Go nice and easy on him. Or a blue. I don't know, it's acting crazy. Pretty nice. I think this is a weak fish. Yep. Ooh, this is a this is a keeper. This is our keeper right here. This is perfect size. Oh, 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 oh! Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes, yes, I got him. Yes, yes. I don't usually keep weak fish, but there's so many around this year that I don't feel so bad. And I think this is gonna be the perfect size. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the perfect size. Weak fish are in the drum family. He's drumming right now. Oh, this rig is sick. I'm loving it. Right on the top of the mouth. You can hear him drumming. So they have to be 16 inches to keep. I'm pretty sure this guy's like 20.
Yeah, he's uh, 22. You can hear him drumming. Sick. You're allowed one weak fish. So I'm going to keep that guy right there. Beautiful fish. This guy's got a nice set of teeth on him. All right, buddy. Thank you. I will be consuming you. So I'm going to brain him and bleed him out. We're going to do a weak fish catching cook on this episode. This is going to be fun. They're beautiful fish. I'll probably only keep like one this year. I can't believe the rig worked. The plan worked. Sick. That worked out so perfectly. It's like the perfect size for the cooler. Oh, I'm so hyped, you have no idea. Well, that was sick. I don't usually keep the weak fish, but I've been looking for one that was like 20 to 24 inches, and that was perfect size, 22. So uh, the big trophies that are around, I definitely don't want to keep one of those, but you know, you're allowed one. Um, I pay for you know the license for a reason, so there's a ton of them around. I don't really like keeping the weak fish because I think they're so cool looking, but you know, one here and there, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't keep striper, but I do eat bluefish and porgy and stuff, so yeah, we'll see if we can get a couple more. Still got some time left, so see if maybe we can catch some more, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to grilling this guy up tonight. It's going to be good. Got him. Oh, this is a porgy. Porgy and weak fish. Is this a keeper? Kind of small. I wanted to give some to my friend. So I might keep this. Let's just double check though. It's a little on the smaller side. Eh, he's 11. It's actually 11 and a half. Yeah, let's keep him. Well, I'm about to run out of media on this card, and I don't have any more cards with me. But it was a pretty great session. I've been wanting to keep a weak fish for a couple weeks now. Uh, we got one to eat, so I think I'm going to put some cinematic B-roll over uh, this little outro here for the catch and cook part. I've got some, some space on my DSLR. But yeah, really good day of fishing. Um, I'm glad we tried out some some new things with this uh, epoxy jig and gulp combo. Worked pretty well. I mean, kind of like you know a diamond jig with the with the trailer on it. Um, but yeah, with the tube trailer. But yeah, good day of fishing. I'm psyched. I'm gonna keep fishing a little more here. Maybe get some porgies. Maybe just put the the catch highlight on that camera if we do get some. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. I'm in my wetsuit still, and we're getting into mid-June here, and the water temperature is still 59 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, so it's still pretty cold. Um, I think that the bass have honestly started to migrate north. I've been kind of paying attention to other parts of the northeast, and it seems like the big cows that I was getting a few weeks ago are long gone. They're up in a different area. Um, so it's nice to get on some weak fish and, you know, some schoolies. The schoolies should be around for a little while longer uh, as we keep getting these waves of smaller mi migratory fish in the area. But, yeah, you know, pretty good season so far. I mean, uh, we've uh, still got a lot of time left, you know. Um, got some construction going on over here, but fluke seasons should be getting going here pretty soon. See, I'm marking some weak fish. That's what the what the weak fish look like on the finder. Those are all weak fish right there. They've got really particular swim bladders. Um, so that's how I've been able to, to figure them out lately is just looking for that swim bladder mark. You can see ones, two are going right underneath the kayak right now. Those are two weak fish right there. There's actually three, four. There's four of them coming underneath the kayak right now. So that's what they look like on the finder. It's actually a whole school of them. I'm going to get into fishing now. Um, but yeah, good good trip here. Um, 
and thanks for watching so yeah i'll put the catch and cook over this please consider subscribing if you like the content it really helps out the channel give it a like if you liked it if not you know i'll see you on the next one peace